Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and today I want to discuss with you 10 of the best vehicles that you can own in GT Online in 2020. Now I did a video like this the other day where I discussed the 5 best businesses and properties to own in GT Online. I'm not going to be discussing any of those in this video, it's purely going to be for vehicles. So if you're interested in finding out which businesses are best to own, then I will leave a link in the description below to that video. And unlike that video, today I'm going to be going in reverse order with the worst vehicle at number 10, and we're going to go down to the best vehicle at number 1. So let's get started at number 10. And at number 10, we have a brand new vehicle in the game. It is the BF Club. And the reason for purchasing this vehicle is because it decimates the compact class when you're doing races. Now, this little vehicle, it looks really cool. It's a nice little addition to the game. As I said, it's the fastest compact vehicle in the game. It has loads of cool customization. Uh, but the reason I've put it at number 10 is, number one, not many people do compact races and number two, it is quite a pricey vehicle. It's about £1.2 million usually. Uh, but as I'm recording this video, it is on discount. So if you want to get your hands on this vehicle, now is definitely the time to do so. At number nine, we have the Tula. And this is a bit of an odd one on this list. Not many people use this vehicle. A lot of people don't like this thing. But I actually find it very useful. Now, if you've never seen this plane before, it is a VTOL propeller plane vehicle. It can also land and take off on water, which makes it very useful for some of the CEO crate missions, which take place out in the ocean and also for visiting your yacht, if that's something that you do. But it also makes it superb for one of the brand new business battle missions, which takes place on the aircraft carrier. Because if you've done that mission before, you'll know that you can't land on the aircraft carrier or fly near it because you'll simply get blown up. But if you land on the water with the Tula, then you won't get shot at. And that makes it perfect because it may means you can land on the water, grab a crate and then fly away again. Which means you can transport those crates a lot faster. At number 8 we have the Grotti Itali GTO. Now, those of you who own this vehicle probably already know that this is the best overall sports car in the sports class. Now, the Pariah is technically faster in a straight line, but over the course of a lap, the Itali GTO has a faster lap time. And if you don't believe me, then check out Bruffy1322's video, because he tests out all the brand new vehicles in GT Online, and he will confirm that the Italo GTO is a better vehicle overall than the Pariah. So if you're looking to win some sports class vehicle races, then I would definitely recommend this one. At number seven, we have the Benefactor Krieger. Now, I really like this vehicle. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And again, like the Italo GTO, if you're trying to win some supercar class races then you have to use the Krieger. You could either use the Krieger or the Emirates. The reason I've put the Krieger is simply because I like the look of it a little bit more. But both those vehicles are really good in the super class. If you're trying to win, then definitely recommend one of those two. They both have absolutely amazing customization, but as I said, I prefer the Krieger, but that just comes down to personal preference. At number 6 we have the Oppressor Mark 1 and you may be wondering why I haven't put the Oppressor Mark 2. Well let me explain it for you. The Oppressor Mark 1 has the glide feature, it has the same missiles as the Oppressor Mark 2 and it can be called through the MC President menu in the interaction menu. But the reason that I prefer it to the Oppressor Mark 2 is simply due to its price. Now, uh, already the Oppressor Mark 1 is cheaper than the Oppressor Mark 2, but to own the Oppressor Mark 2, you have to own the Terabyte, 
which is additional costs. And to own a terabyte, you have to own the nightclub business, which again adds to the cost of owning the Oppressor Mark II. Whereas the Oppressor Mark I, all you need is personal vehicle storage. So that can be a garage, apartment garage, or a biker MC clubhouse. At number five, we have the Scramjet. And this one um, is absolutely fantastic. I love the Scramjet. And I would definitely recommend that you have some sort of rocket boost vehicle in your fleet because it makes traveling across the map very, very quick. And that is why I've put the Scramjet at number five. If you're trying to travel across the map as fast as possible, then the Scramjet is the vehicle that you have to use. This thing has the jump feature of the Runa 2000. It has the rocket boost feature of the Rocket Voltic. And it has the missile feature of the Oppressor. And it is also a pretty cool looking vehicle. And as I mentioned in my video the other day where we looked at some classic TV show cars. It is actually based off the Speed Racer car. Um, which is a little hint to some pop culture there. And definitely a vehicle that you should own. At number four we have the Deluxo. And I, I really like this vehicle as well. Now, you could also interchange the Oppressor Mark II for the Deluxo. They are very similar vehicles. But again, the Deluxo overall is cheaper than the Oppressor Mark II, as I mentioned with the Oppressor Mark I. The buy-in price of the Oppressor Mark II is a lot higher because you have to own the Terabyte and the Nightclub. And I actually prefer the look of the Deluxo. It's actually safer because there's less chance of you falling off. Obviously, it has the hover ability like the Oppressor Mark II, which makes it very good for scouting around the map for uh, CEO crates, or whether you're just flying out to collect some business battle goods. It can make it very, very good. Obviously, it can fly. You can drive it as a normal vehicle. And like the Scramjet, it has a pop culture reference, obviously, featured in the Back to the Future movie. So if you're a car collector, it is also a great vehicle to own. At number three, we have one of the most versatile vehicles and one of the oldest vehicles in the game, and it is the Buzzard. Now, if you don't own a Buzzard already, if you're just starting out the game or you've played the game for a long time, you need to purchase a Buzzard. It is one of the best vehicles you can purchase in GTA Online. It is one of the fastest helicopters in the game. It can seat four people. It has lock-on missiles. And if you are a CEO, then you can call it through the interaction menu and get it to spawn in front of you immediately. So it makes it one of the best vehicles to own in GTA Online, whether you're trying to travel across the map quickly, whether you're completing a heist mission with three other crew members, or whether you're just trying to take out some enemies with the missiles, the Buzzard is definitely the best choice for you. At number two, we have the Avenger. And as I mentioned in my video the other day where we looked at the best properties to purchase, the Avenger has to be stored in a facility. So before you decide to go and buy this vehicle, you do have to own a facility, which obviously adds extra cost to the vehicle, which is already quite pricey. But the reason that I've put the Avenger so high on my list is the fact that you can customize the Scramjet, the Oppressor Mark I, and a lot of other vehicles that were added in the gun running update. And also, this vehicle is rather fast. It's very, very strong as a plane as well. Um, obviously, it has the VTOL mode, meaning it can take off and land vertically like a helicopter. But then it also can be switched into a plane mode, where it is a very fast vehicle. It can travel across the map very, very quickly. As I mentioned, it is very strong. It's an alternative to the MOC. And one of the other cool features of the Avenger is that you can actually put it on autopilot. So if you're trying to customize one of your vehicles and uh, you keep getting blown up in your MOC, what you can do is call out your Avenger, fly up to the top of the map where no one is going to bother you, put it in the autopilot mode, and then you can proceed to enter the cargo hold and customize your vehicle. 
And at number one, we have the Terabyte. This, in my opinion, is the best vehicle you can own in GT Online. And the reason is quite simple. It is a mobile CEO slash biker MC clubhouse. Uh, you can drive this thing to wherever you want and you can access all of your businesses from the Terabyte. So you can access all of your biker businesses and all of your CEO businesses directly from the Terabyte. You don't need to travel to your office or to one of your separate businesses. If you want to resupply them, simply go into the back of the Terabyte and you can access them from there. But the Terabyte also has a lock-on missile feature, but it can lock onto eight different things in one go. So if you've got a bunch of people coming at you on some different vehicles, whether that's one in a plane, one in a car, whatever, you can lock onto eight different people simultaneously, which is I believe the only vehicle that can do this in the entire game. It is pretty cool. It also has the player scanner, which is not very useful, but it is a cool feature. You can scan a player and it will tell you all of their statistics, what vehicles they own, etc. Which is a cool little feature, not very useful, but definitely the terabyte. If you don't own this vehicle, you need to purchase it. And it is also where you can start the Oppressor Mark II if that's a vehicle you want to purchase. Um, just a note though, you do have to own the nightclub to purchase the Terabyte. So that does add additional costs to this thing. But I think it is definitely worthwhile if you don't own it already. That is going to do it for this video though. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you found it useful, then please smash the like button and subscribe if you are new. I do videos like this twice a week, so if you want to see more content, then definitely stick around. But that's going to do it from me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.